Hey, good morning, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's talk about only one thing, because that's all we have today. KSS. And it's going to be a wild one, but this is 55 as a target for this. Good morning. Am I going to talk and project? I'm projecting and talking now. Can you see me? I mean, can you see the screen? Um, if you looked above, <coughs> I rated a bunch of things, but nobody, nothing rates today except for this. So with that other one little guy, but it had no volume. <clears throat> so this is the only thing really we can watch today. Um, this really, the target's really 55. Okay. Now it has to set up and work. If it reverse swooshes, we're not doing it. If it reverse swooshes, then we'll have nothing to do today. And don't expect the market to do anything other than not make any sense. So we'll talk about the rally the market did yesterday. I actually left the house yesterday like at 11 o'clock and didn't get back until 11 o'clock at night. So I never even looked at this until this morning, which is funny. Anyways, what can I say? I talked and talked and talked about how bullish the market is. Look at the bounce that we had yesterday. And I didn't even see that until just now, like this morning. But the market really is still going to be sloppy today in here. Like, it should hold, but we had that beautiful rally yesterday, so, you know, and, and, and Cisco gapped up, and this should look better, so. Can you hear me? I'm talking. Can you hear me? I've been talking. been talking now we got a trade so I don't know what happened I was talking 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 <clears throat> it's the only thing I'm doing that's all that I said just pay attention Wait. <clears throat> Where is this? 55. 55 is the target. I hope it doesn't go there in one bar. Well, just wait. Can't you can't you can't just short this into the open. Look at this. Beautiful. I knew this was the one. Just relax. This could even swoosh. Just see what it does. No one should be in this yet though. <clears throat> and the spread is a monster. Okay, stop is going to be 57.10. Man, this is going to be a big stop. 20 by 10. Oh, that is going to be big. Let's see if that hits. I am taking it if it hits. If this flips over the high, though, and sets up, it's going to be a better entry for us. All right, just wait. No one should be in this yet. But if it hits 20, I'm going to take it. I, I would rather this flip. But if this holds in here after that drop, it's going to break. So I'm doing it. 20 by 10, KSS. And it's going to hit. Just relax, though. Don't take it till it does. All right, wait. All right, we're going to get something better. Just relax. That's off. All right, it never hit. Just relax. We'll get a better entry. That was a big stop anyways. Never thinking a dollar. <clears throat> All right, let's do 30. We got to do, it's still going to be the same though. 30 by 10. That's really not much better. <clears throat> 30 by 10. And you can't be tight with this because it's KSS. And no one should take this until it hits because you can't because it's wild and it's spready. And that's why. No, wait. This isn't set up. We have nothing to do today. Hold on. Just wait. I'm not off of it yet, but. Cisco. I'm going to call along. I'm not doing this. 
this isn't perfect, but you could do Cisco. Stop really needs to be 2850. You got to put it at 2850 in ca case it poops down in here. I'm not doing this. This is a long. You could buy Cisco in here. This is not a small stop. Stop has to be 2850. I'm not doing that. I want to do this, but I may not get this. I may not get this at all. This has no volume. This is nothing here. <clears throat> no one should be in this. No one should have taken it and never triggered anything I said. Just relax. Still okay, but better stop this rally here soon. <clears throat> okay. 10 by 80, 10 by 80, 10 by 80, KSS, I'm doing it, 10 by 80. Here, I'm taking it out, I'm in it, it's gonna hit. Put the stop in, 80, there it goes, I knew one, here. I took it before it hit, but here, this is, I knew it. Oh, my Lanta. This is just way bigger of a stop. Here, this, this that was it, oh my Lanta. All right, hold on, 55. You know, if it doesn't break the low, then I'm out of half. Hold on, if it doesn't break the low, I'm out of half. Patience is a virtue, but we couldn't, we, there would be no reason to just short it until it hit though. But here it goes. Oh my Lanta, 55. Hold on. You know what? This could stay with it. It's going to break the low, but if it doesn't, I'm getting out of half. Oh, this thing is wild. I knew it was wild. There's nothing else to do. <sighs> <clears throat> Let me just check the stop. Yeah, it has to be at 80. <clears throat> Let's blow it up. I haven't traded this for a while. I forgot how crazy it is. <clears throat> I, actually, if you didn't get this, you could take it here. I, I took it before it hit, but if you didn't, it's back here. You could take this here. I'm not adding, though, because I'm just not. But I didn't get out of any, and it still looks good. <clears throat> but this did have a nice little bar here. Well, it's not small. It's a dollar, but from where we took it could have got out a little bit if you wanted but I'm just staying with the trade <clears throat> time of the day is 936 is that the real time yes Okay, this, this could actually even have an ad, but you could have just taken more right in there. Uh, but I'm really not going to lower the stop because, I, you know, this is just too wild. <clears throat> you can take more. You can take more at 90. 90, but the stop has to, here this goes. Here, here, who stayed with it and who did what? Who did what with it? I bet some of you scout this out of here, but really... I do think it breaks, and I think this $55 is the target today. I mean, when I looked at the chart, it said 55, 55, 55. I don't know if I'm holding the whole thing down to there, but it is $55. <clears throat> Journey Women's in it. Wheezy's still in it. Actually, the entry ended up being a better stop than the original 2 1 that never hit, but, you know, it's. I really was thinking. 
That's presumptuous thinking it's going to be 50. Here it goes. Here it goes. KSS. Man, did we get this at a good place. That we couldn't have gotten any better. Try to stay with it. I know it's hard. It's probably not going to go do until it breaks the low. And this is wild. It absolutely is. I would like an easy one. An easy one that falls off a planet. Yesterday we had an easy one, but it didn't fall off a planet. <clears throat> this should fall off a planet today, but I wouldn't say this is easy by any means. I'm doing a good job with the calls though, because we were patient and we waited. And you could be long Cisco. It's just that was a massive stop. And also, uh, Cisco could pull in and I could call a better entry in that if you really want to go long Cisco later. But I have to pay attention to this now because this is wild. If this is traded by machines, this is like 100% machines in here. We're probably the only, only normal humans trading this. That's, you know. When I saw this bar yesterday, I was like, does anyone even know what happened here? I actually didn't even look it up. But that appears to be real. Like, I actually think that actually was real. Does anyone know what happened with this yesterday? I should have Googled it. Here we go. KSS. Nice call, Melissa Armo. I had a fun night last night. Went out, went out to an event. Went out to a fancy bar restaurant. Met a lot of people. Had too much wine. <laughs> Here it goes. I said I was out last night just moving and shaking and I said I you know I said oh my lanta and someone turned around and they were like what did you say and I was like <laughs> and I started busting and the person started busting I'm like well that's what I say because I don't want to swear oh my lanta is true oh my lanta KSS of 55 here we go here it. But if it doesn't, we're gonna get a half. I think it's gonna do. Try to stay with it. Here, oh, this is gonna be a big bar today. Fifty-five dollars. I don't know if I have the mojo to hold it to fifty-five. It's. I just want to see how much would I make if I held this at fifty-five. Hold on. Oh, I know this is going to fifty-five though. It's just too wild. Hold on. The market's so sideways, though. I know it looks weak right now, but it could flip at 10 o'clock. The market is just wiggly jiggly. Um, oh my gosh, we didn't break the low yet. This is craziness. Crap. I really like it. I didn't get out of, you could get out of half right here. I didn't. I thought it was, I just presumed it was going to go. Here, hold on. I am going to get out of half, though, if this isn't break it, but I think it does. Oh, Trader Gal did take some out. There it goes. Yes, that was it. There. Nice push. Yay. All right. Let me just look at all the numbers. 56. Okay, it did just hit 5603. Frequent flyers all out. Okay. I just thought this would just collapse after it hit that, but it didn't get under 56 yet. <clears throat> I'm still in the whole thing. It's just. NC Beach Guy is holding too. I just, I mean, this is the high of the day in this. So it's like, I'm trying to, I just want to, let's see if we can get one more break. One more push. One more push, maybe I'll just get all out. I didn't get out of any there, but you could have. You could have got out of half. CPA had no volume, though, I thought. <clears throat> I don't, this looks like it didn't open till here. I don't even know what this is doing. It has no volume. Cisco, you could go long right in here. You could put the stop at 2870. 
35 cents, long Cisco if you want. Target's 30 bucks a day if it goes. If it, I mean, this actually looks decent. I'm in the KSS though, short, but Cisco long if you want it. <clears throat> Boots said great call on KSS, thank you. I didn't get out of any down in there now. This is gonna push back a little bit, but I still think it has one more push. Let's just see. I didn't take any out. It was getting starry-eyed about the 55, but <clears throat> wasn't gonna go to 55 immediately. So plan of action here for me now is one more push wherever it goes and all out. Let's see if we can hold this till 10 o'clock. I'm trying, 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 trying. It's 9.43. Good. <clears throat> I mean, this is underway now. What a nice call on this is right, because this was tough. Look where we shorted this. This is what we shorted. That, that could have gone either way, people. I mean, to be honest with you, that looks kind of crappy. It looks really, like, butt ugly, actually. The only reason I even did it was because the gat was good, and we'll talk about that when we're done. Beautiful calm, always spot on, thank you. holding my breath <laughs> I'm like why am I holding my breath I gotta breathe I can't hold my breath for 20 more minutes all right hold on <laughs> I'm like breathe hmm. I only had one problem I like I, had, I wore these shoes for the first time they're really nice and then I somehow got a thing, these grates and everything when you walk around New York, I got a snag in the one and it's patent leather and now I don't know if I ruin them. It's in the back. I'm gonna take it to a cobbler, but I might have ruined them. It wasn't the Rene Cavellas, but it was a Kate Spade shoe. It was still $300. I only wore them, I was the first time I even wore them. So I was kind of like annoyed about that, but you gotta be careful. High heels are like dangerous in New York. There, come on. Look how wild this is. There's nothing you can do, and just let it do its thing. Time of the day is 9.46. It should break the low of the day before 10 o'clock. That's what I would like to happen. Does seem to be taking forever. Come on, here it goes. Under 56. Under 56, drop right down to 55. Sleep if it doesn't go soon. <clears throat> I know it's going to go though.
Did anyone look up what happened with this yesterday? I'm just wondering with that bar there, or that spike. Okay, so the market is coming in, but again, I said it's sloppy. Why? Because we gapped up, had a beautiful rally yesterday. We're really not weak, but we're not showing strength on the day here yet. I don't think we really flipped today. I think we actually could actually close red today. Is that going to mean something as far as strength or weakness? No. Overall picture is still the same. This is so rippy. Now, I'm talking about the big bar that happened here yesterday. This. This was not the earnings. The earnings came out whenever they did last night or whatever. I'm talking about this bar here at 12.15 yesterday was something. What was that? Well, this better keep going because I didn't get out of any down in there. I was presuming that was going to break or I'm too tired or haven't had enough coffee. I better pay attention now because <clears throat> that this is it. This can't go over that now. Let's just see. This is just very wild. So let's go over this. Here, we took it in here. Waited, 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 waited. That was the right thing to do. Like the first bar, I said it's better for us if it flips. It did. But this looked really crappy here. But I saw it and we did it. Nice entry, fell off the planet, got a little presumptuous, I think, that I thought once it broke the low of the day, it would crash. But it, it actually didn't. The low of the day was 56.20. It only went 14 pennies under it, and then it bounced back, and I didn't even realize this basically was the next target, and I missed getting out of any. Then this looked really good, like it was going to fall, and it hasn't yet, and now i got to pay attention because I'm in this profitable, but I haven't taken anything out, and I actually wish I would have taken half out here, but it, it's moving so fast. <laughs> Some of you got it all out. This was more than a dollar, but I want to try to maximize this, and I truly, truly, truly think this goes to 55, but the time of it, now I'm stuck in it waiting. stop because I can't. This looks fine though. Let's just make sure that I've got an hour and a half of that down there. <coughs> we are going to get to lower the stop soon though. Once it hits in the 15, I will lower the stop. I just don't know when that's going to be though. Cisco. Cisco, I told you you could take. And this is working. Any every every entry I gave you on this is working. Cisco's along. Okay. So I don't know if anybody did it. Did anybody do it? It's not going nowhere. It's going to thirty dollars. Cisco to thirty dollars today, and I didn't go long that. You could have actually done both my calls. Long Cisco, which I rarely call long, but it was a good gap. And short KSS. Maybe we should have shorted this, got all out, and bought that too, and did two things, but 
I really believe this is going to 55. I just would like it to go there today. <laughs> you can move the stop in Cisco. Hold on. I can't look at anything else right now. Just let me get through this thing here. All right. Told you. Look. <gasps> Conviction. All right. Uh, Cisco. Cisco stop was way down here. I wanted to give it the room. Two reasons. Market, long, everything else. Anyways, you could be in this now with a stop at 70. That was the second place. It's got to be 70 now. I cannot break the low of the day now, but this needs to break the low of the day. Come on, KSS. I got things to do. 10 o'clock. I want this to break the low. 56.06, and I better pay attention because I don't want to miss this here. Look. <gasps> Woo! And I held that through that rally. Oh, my Lanta. 55. Let's get the magic eight ball. I would like to know if I'm going to get tomorrow and Friday a really, 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 really good golden gap that's also easy for me to trade and falls off a planet. Oh, concentrate and ask again. That's not the answer I wanted. <laughs> Darn it. I know today is Thursday. Today is over. I'm in this. I'm up. I'm making money. I want to get something easy peasy that falls off a planet tomorrow and Friday. That's what I want. And JCP is out. Could it, could, do we dare? Oh, tomorrow and Friday. Well, <laughs> hold on. Let's look at JCP while this is going. This is fine. Did anyone kill it? I mean, if you killed it, you were up, but let me just look at this. You killed it with profit. <laughs> ah, all right, JCP. There's nothing going on for itself right now. How daring am I to do what? Take more of this? Or what are you talking about? Wheezy killed it with profit. Look how crappy this looks on a chart, but the numbers are real. So we played it with the numbers. When you have something that is really, really whippy, and basically traded with a lot of machines, you got to know the numbers. <clears throat> Time of the day is 9.55, though. And we really got to get going here by 10. Come on, here we go. 10 o'clock. Break it, break it, break it. This looks fine, though. It's not doing anything wrong, but taking too long. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on. Oh, let me ask another question. Are the television show executives at the network going to love my television pilot? Without a doubt. All right. Good answer in that one. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Under 5605. 5606. Without a doubt, without a doubt, KSS to 55. We'll go over this when we're done. I just don't want to look at anything else right now because this is so crazy. You know what? I am going to have my hand in the button though because if for some reason this bounces, I really am probably just going to get out of the whole thing at 56. I don't think that happens. I don't think that happens at all. And I've suffered now waiting for this to go to make the big trade, but which I'm still in the whole thing. But anything's possible because it is 10 o'clock and I don't want to be in this all day.
need is breaking. I actually did think about going long Cisco today, like this morning. Here it goes! Hold on! Yes, there, yeah. Ah, there it is! Hold on! This is it! This is the trade! That's all the money! Money, 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 money! Here it goes! 55! I knew it! Hold on! There, there, I took it! I'm out! I just took it! I took the whole thing! I'm out! I'm out, I'm out, I'm out! I'm not holding for a bounce! I just took the whole thing out! Done! But it's gonna go to 55. I couldn't stand it any longer. I waited as long as I could. I said one more push, I'm done. But you could be in this to 55. That was too much money. Here, it's really, let it break 70 if you're still in it. You know what, put the stop over 56. If you're still in this, put the stop over 56. Like this has to go right now. I took it all though, I couldn't stand it. Yeah, there, beautiful. I'm all out though. I'm all out of the trade. If you're still in this, put the stop at 56.05 or something really, 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 really tight. Oh, I think I got out too early. I couldn't take it any longer. <laughs> 55 is the number though. It's 5.5. Five. I mean, I really felt like that. Look, if it goes right down there though now, I'll cry. It is gonna get right down there. Here, who's quickly? Who's still in this? You probably have your hand in the button though and can't write. Oh, oh my gosh, it is gonna go to 55. I am gonna cry now. I should have asked the magic eight ball if this was going to 55. <laughs> in the end, though, I probably ended up making what I would have made if I'd gotten out of half here and held the rest. Like it all evened out. Because I should have really gotten out of half here. And then I should have got the rest out whenever. But in the end, that's probably, I probably ended up the same as it would have when I held it and threw the whole thing here. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Listen, if you're still in this though, the stop should not be over 56. This is way, way too big away from this. This is too much profit. Too whippy of a stop. 10 o'clock. You could put it over 60. Actually, I think. There's no reason to be in this unless you're not going to just have your hand on the button. Like your hand is on the button if it has shows one second of green. Get out. That, that was a great call I made and a great entry. I'm going to go over it in a minute. I want to grab some more coffee and then I'll come back and answer your questions. Oh, my lantern really is going to go to 55, though. Who's still in it right now? Is anybody still in this? It's going to go to 55. I said 55. I knew it. But I'm all out. There was nothing I can do. I knew 5-5. Five, five. I am so good with numbers, it's not even funny. It's just ridiculousness. Mm. Journey woman still in it and Trader Gal still has a piece. This was a big bar though. This was a really big bar. It's going to 55. <laughs> I just have to sit here and laugh at myself. I just gotta laugh at myself out loud. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that has really helped me though this year is that I'm definitely not greedy in reference to trading anymore. I mean, I'm really not, but I'm taking more size. You know, here, it's 55. This is nuts. Look at how. <gasps> it's going to break 55. If you're still in it, I feel that it's going to break it. It's going to break 55. If you're still in it. Here it goes. Right now, it's going to do it. I can tell that it's going to now. There, I did it. Oh, my Lanta. That's it. That's the trade. This is the trade. If you are still in it, get out. Get out, get out right now. There, I told you to get out, that was it. And I should have held it, but it doesn't matter. I felt it was gonna break. I hope, the, you gotta be out. This is done. That's the whole thing. What a great call I just made though. I got out too soon a little bit. But in the end, what I should have done, well, it's all half a dozen one or the other. Hold on, let me get more coffee and then we'll go over it. This, I knew it was gonna go to 55. As soon as I saw it this morning, I said $55. But I just couldn't stand this then. I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then it, I was just up too much money. I said, I can't take it anymore. But it went, look at this is nuts. It actually broke 55 by 10 cents. 
All right, let me get some more coffee. I will be right back. Just give me one second. We'll go over everything, including Cisco. Everyone should be up and have a wonderful day. Just hold on one sec. Said good call, Melissa. Call you, call me later. Okay, thank you. Princess, are you still here? Did you say that and then leave? <clears throat> uh, Max said, "Not bad for a gal with one eye." Great call. Thank you. Listen, that's that was it though. That was the exit. I mean, no one's still in this, right? This is a new thing when I command you to get out. It works, though. I should command myself to get out. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I just, I was like, Ugh. Should have stayed in and made more darn, Wheezy said. Victor T., if you couldn't borrow that, I have no idea where you're trading because you should change brokers immediately. Journey Woman had 500 shares and made over $1,000, $1,039.57. That's fantastic. And you did hold that a good amount, but everyone in here could have taken 500 shares of that. There's not one person here that couldn't have taken 500 shares. Not one, okay? And Trader Gal says she wished she had more. Jagger Paul says, great call, Melissa. Thank you. Let's go over this. And I'm going to use Journey Woman as an example. I'm going to get to meet Journey Woman. All right, let's go over it. Anyways, I did actually short this before it hit because I felt that it would. You know, we could have done the one other entry in this here now I'm seeing it, which I did kind of see in live time, which is why I called it and preempted it, but it would have been so aggressive because the stock is just so wild. I mean, it is so wild. So I really wanted to make sure it was confirmed confirmed <clears throat> anyways you know cycle nut says thanks melissa great trade you're welcome let's just say you did take 500 shares okay the stop was 80 why the spread was moving could we have been tighter yes would it have held yes anything we put would have held actually that was the high of the day and i knew it i knew it and then i that's why i actually was like okay fine because 
I knew it was going to 55. 55. This is, it was just too much money. I think this is where then, so, it, it doesn't matter. I was up too much money for me not to, to, to let it go through any back up against me and then I had to get out. So I think that's the thing. But I really knew it was going to 55. Market bounce too. I'll go over that in a minute. Cost is on a trial. You're here in a trial, right? You made 720. If you're here in a trial and you made any money at all, you should get on your hands and knees and thank me. <laughs> you, you really should not be trading if you didn't take my class at all in a trial because look how wild this was. And we're trading in a one minute chart. Do you people have any idea how aggressive this is? And if you made $720 or $7.20 on my call, you know, you should do the class for one. All right, anyways, getting back to this. 500 shares, wherever you got this in here. Let's say you got it at 15. Let's say you got it at 10. I actually ended up sizing this in my mind for 60 cents. It actually was more than 60 cents but I was grabbing it as I saw the fill come down. But actually, I sized myself for 60. Actually, it was really 70 if you did it correctly. And if you got filled a little bit before, a little bit late, it was somewhere between 60 and 70. Again, this is not an exact science because the fact is that the stock is moving and it's moving very fast. And you wanna make sure you get filled, but you don't wanna take it too soon. This is why you people are in here with me because like, I warned you here. I said, wait, wait, wait. Wait, look, and it was good that nobody preempted this because look what it did. This is crazy. I really think this is done though. Joe says, Melissa, you really hung in there today in a tough one. I was afraid it wasn't gonna, you were afraid it was gonna go against me, but I knew that it wouldn't because of the gap, but I should have gotten out of half here. Anyways, so Journey Woman, let's just say in a perfect world, she did size herself for 70 cents. 70 cents. Here, I'm quizzing you right now. If you risk, if you take 500 shares at 70 cents, how much, mo how much money, dollars and cents, are you risking? Somebody answer me. Somebody answer me right now. The first person, right now, anybody, 500 shares, 70 cents is how much? $350. You should not be trading if you can't afford to risk $350. $350. And trader gal, you can afford to risk $350. So... $350 was 500 shares, and Journey Woman made over 1000 bucks. And no one in here could not afford to not take that. Everyone could have afforded to take that. Here, this is nuts. Let's just look at where it's going now, just for the heck of it. I mean, no one should be in this anymore. No one should be in this at all anymore. This is crazy. Let me just look at it. Hold on while it's moving. I mean, this is just, look at that. Mm. Wow, this will just fall all day now because 55 was a target and re actually it did break 55 aggressively when it did by like 12 cents or 15 cents. This is just going to fall all day now. This is nuts. Wow, I, I can't even look at this anymore. <laughs> I mean, no one should still be in this. this would, that would be ridiculousness and it also would be ridiculous to short this again here. But this just dropped more than a dollar from here again. <laughs> we should take these three times. Keep entering and exiting. <laughs> Magic 88 is turning it off. We did everything right today in this though. We didn't do anything wrong at all. We did everything perfect. I get, once again, my entry, perfect. Gap rating, perfect. What did I say this morning? This is the only thing we're looking at. There's nothing else to do. But actually we could have done a Cisco and I did call the Cisco. We'll go over that next. It would have been impossible to do Cisco and this today for me though. Why? This was tough. That's why I was asking the Magic 8-Ball if we would get an easy one. Then this became even tougher. Why did I stay with it? Conviction Be of the gap, of the gap. Because looking at the chart here, once this did this, it looked crappy. And then I'm like, oh, crap. But I knew the stop couldn't be changed. And I knew this was the high of the day. Anyways, getting back to it, everyone in here could have risked $350. And if you had, you would have had a common day today. So, you know. What are you going to do? It's like some of you want to take the risk and some of you don't. Some of you are doing well enough you could be taking more risk. Some of you are not doing as well as others and then not doing the correct action 
because you're actually taking too much risk and then you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. Now, what would be something that you shouldn't do in here today? And I don't know if anyone will cop to it, but it'll be interesting to see. I'm sure there's someone in here that took this trade, was up this money, didn't get out. Why? Because I didn't tell you to get, that I got out. Oh, well, I said you could have gotten out, but I didn't say I got out. And if you're following me the letter, I didn't get out here. Anyways, then this happened. I bet somebody in here killed it in here. Why? Because it pushed back up almost through your price. And you were actually up a dollar and gave it all back in the trade. You weren't down, but I bet somebody killed this in here. And this is what happens, and then you're scared, and then you kill it. And then you don't trade right, and what should you be doing? Looking at the chart and looking at the gap. And I bet somebody in here did that, and no one will cop to it. But uh, this is the situation. So it's like a fine line. You determine how much you're risking. you got to be feel comfortable with it. Some of you should be risking more. Some of you should be risking less. Why? Because you take the trade. Don't get out with me. You're scared. You're scared you're going to lose. You were up. Then you're mad at yourself. You didn't get out. Well, then just you should have gotten out of half them, which I said you could have, but I didn't. But if you're following me, then you believe in the gap. And then you stay with it. And those people are taking too much risk because they're trading in fear. And then it falls up upon it that you get mad at yourself. That's exactly I know somebody in here is doing that. Anyways, the point is, though, that it's a fine line between how much risk you take and how much risk you can be okay with taking. It's not just how much you can afford. It's how much you feel like you can stomach. Tom is a great example of that, actually. Tom is in here. And Tom could take way more risk than he does. But he can't stomach it, so he doesn't. I'm trying to get him to stomach it, but I don't know if I'll ever have an effect on him to actually stomach it. Um, Magic 88 says, I think that's what you learn the most from me is sizing properly and controlling my risk. Excellent. Very good. Matt got out of half and got out of the rest where he said some got out of didn't. Didn't want to let it to become a loss. Okay, so Matt just copped to it. I got out of half, then got out of the rest where I said. That's okay, but this is a learning experience. Be honest with yourself. Hey, if you can't be honest with, well, if you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with anyone. But quite frankly, I feel like if you can't be honest with me, you can't be honest with anyone. Because I really push people to the limit to be honest with themselves. And therefore, they need to be honest with me. And sometimes I make people think about themselves in a way that they're honest with me, whether they've never been with themselves. Really, if you can't be honest with me, you can't be honest with anyone. Because you know what? I know what everyone's experiencing and doing because I went through it all myself. Like, I'm talking from experience because I did all this crazy nonsense. I mean, how do you think I know what people are doing here? Weezy said she got out because she was scared. R squared said, great little talk, by the way. Thank you. Max said, happy what you did, but not knowing how to do a better job. You're learning and gaining confidence. Thank you. You're welcome. There's another target at 5420. There's also another target at 50. <laughs> I mean, this could get a 52 or $50 today, but you have to be reasonable. We'll look at that in a minute. Weezy needs to develop more and trust me fully. I thought you did trust me, Weezy. You did the class. Journeyman was tempted to go back in on the 10 of 15 bar. You know, Trader Gal says this every day. She just said it too. Why didn't we do this 50 times? But, you know, it's you're taking a chance. I mean, you're really taking a chance. The reason that this broke again, and the reason this will go all day now, is because it's done. It's finito. It could have bounced hard off of 55, which was the target, and it didn't. It broke it, and it actually broke it. So, like, there's really no recovery for this today. So, it's, you know, it's like shorting a falling knife now, really. Where are you going to put the stop? And do you know what I'm saying? Like, and you cannot take a one-minute entry at 10.16. It's too late. Like, it's too late. It's, like, way too late to take a one-minute entry here. Like, and what are you going to do with this? Like, this looks like a piece of crap. Like, look at this chart. Ugh. It looks like somebody vomited on it. Look at that. If you don't know how to trade the one-minute chart, what, what did you do with this today? Vomit. It's ugly looking. I mean, this was this. Do you see this? Here, this is a good lesson, too. This, okay, this looks like vomit. You're like, oh, my gosh, I don't know what to do with this. You're up, you're down, you're up, you're down, you're do, 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 do. Look at all the tails. There's a tail in every direction. You can't even read this, but the gap is bearish. And the gap rated 21 points. Anyways, this is this crap. Look, at, and this too, and this. So this is this, and this is us sweating a bullet through this. That's Look at that. So this is this. It's the same thing. 
It's the price moving. So the price is moving up here, and it's actually doing a five-minute buy setup. Like, if we had seen this in live time, this would have looked like it was going to flip. Up the bounce of 56, which was a target I wrote in the room, even though I said 55, and I double, triple started. Anyways, that looks like a five-minute buy setup, and it looks like crap to be short, but it held, and that's this. So this, you see this here? This looks like vomit. Why? Because of this. And this is what we were in. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. But I really felt like 55. Weezy says she does trust me, but it was not in the right frame of mind this morning. Why were you out too late partying it up, Weezy? <laughs> Norisk says, how often do you hold these classes and how does the room work after you take the class? Great call, by the way. How often do you hold the classes? I've been doing classes monthly. I haven't done a class in a while since because I was sick and then I had the eye situation. But I'm doing a class this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. The pilot shooting is next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I really have to plan a schedule of classes out between now and the end of the year. But honestly, because of the television thing, I've been, it's been crazy with the classes. So I don't know what's going to happen, how often I'll do them. I really don't know. I think once the show airs, I'm definitely going to be doing less classes. It'll be impossible for me to do as many classes as I've been doing once the show airs. I still do classes, but I'm not going to do classes every month. So for now, I don't know. Between now and the end of the year, next year, it won't be as often. Uh, <laughs> Weezy needs to come to California and hang out with Surf Dog. He's a party animal. Is there anyone in here that Surf Dog has not wanted to date? Next, Surf Dog's going to want to date Journey Woman. You just know it. And Princess. Surf Dog, like, wants to date everyone, which is hilarious. Surf Dog has to come on the show at some point. <laughs> Surf Dog has like a girlfriend now, besides. All right, let me go. <laughs> he hasn't asked you, R squared. Some of your some of your names you can't tell if you're a woman or a man, and some of them you can, which is hilarious. And don't change that because it's great for the show. But shower singer's the best. But the one thing I was thinking that reminded me of was the Saturday Night Live. Who was the girl on a Saturday Night Live who was like, you couldn't tell if it was a woman or a man? Quickly, quickly, I can't think of it. I'm really dating myself here now, this Saturday Night Live. Pat. <laughs> it's androgynous Pat. <laughs> it, was like, I think it was like the early 2000s. Yeah, it's Pat. <laughs> Victor T you would have taken what for what amount I might have lost what you're talking about if you had shorted KSS today you would have you would have made money no matter what you would have done so I don't know what you were saying there about $1800 Debbie Downer I actually saw the actress I saw her in New York like uh, earlier this year I did a double take of Walk Fire on 42nd Street, and I barely even didn't even know it. Like, she looks like, you know, it's been a lot of years now. These people don't look exactly the same, but it was her. It's tough if you're an actor and an actress. Thank goodness I have my trading. Um... All right, let's go over, <clears throat> is that a 20, a 50? These are, this is a, this is a 20 and this is an eight. But as you see here, Raphael is asking a good question. <clears throat> if you were using the moving averages to trade this, you didn't know what to do with your life. And if you were, you actually bought it in here. So I'm not using these moving averages to take my trades. I mean, I just told you what they are and I have them up here, I do, but I don't, here, let's just take them off for Pete's sakes. <clears throat> I mean, if you use the moving averages here, this was scooping up. Like this looked like a buy. And here too. And it wasn't. We shorted it. This took a lot of conviction today, but it really was the gap. Here, let me just get these off here. I'll show you. If 
you take them off, it looks like what it is. If you have them on, you might have been confused. You cannot trade using moving averages. This looks like exactly what it is now, exactly what we did. It's a short. We made money shorting this today. But if you put those moving averages on, you're screwed up in the head. You cannot trade based on moving averages. If it was that easy to trade, nobody would ever lose any money. So let's get real. Now i got to remove all these. Um, we have to talk about Cisco. Oh, Journey Woman got back in this again. She couldn't stand it anymore. She shorted more at 55.02. Am I mad at you? I will be if you lose in it. <laughs> what? 55.02. Just bar by bar it. At this point, put a stop over 55. Just put your stop at break even. Put your stop at break even here. That's the only thing you could do. You have to put your stop at break even if that's what you're doing. On a two minute chart, it stayed with the eight. Okay. Well, it stayed under this on this chart. I mean, you could, you know, we could talk all day long about that, but I'm saying that's not the reason to do anything, which you know. All right, let's go to Cisco. <clears throat> Cisco. Was really, we had it, we had the best trade today. I'm looking at this now. The risk reward just wasn't here. I didn't do this initial entry or call it. I called it somewhere in here. I don't remember what time. And I told you where to put the stop. And I gave it a wide stop. Cisco doesn't have a big spread, but I just wanted to make sure because why? It's a long. It was a good gap, but the market was falling and this is a market stock. This did not have good risk to reward. And here you could have tried to get it. And in here you could have tried to get it. And you could still be in this. And it actually looks fine. Stop is 70. You could even put it at 80. But I don't know if this is going to go to $30 now today. Why? Market red, time of the day, 1025. This had a big move this morning very quick, and you'd have to be in this all day now. If you are in this long, you're in it all day. It's going to try to get to 30. It's going to try. It's going to try, and it might even do it, but you think you'll have to be in it all day. So it would, would be the point. So you could lower your stop in this to 80, I mean move it up to 80 if you're in this long, but you're in it all day to get it to the target. Longs take longer to go, shorts don't. And you know what, when the shorts don't work, we're out quick. So here you have the KSS, it worked very quickly. Here you have the Cisco, I do believe this still could go to $30 today, but not quick, you're in it all day. You could buy it more here, stop at 80, 20 cents, Cisco long for a dollar move, it's a five hour trade, you're in it all day. And we just made money here doing this quickly. And I almost was thinking it was taking too long. You're welcome, Shining Star. Um, you would have taken the train. Well, you should be. You should. You should have just been observing anyways, Victor. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. You really did the right thing observing, because you don't. You don't know my system yet, unless you do the class. And there's plenty of time to make money once you learn how to trade, and you're in here with me. So you may as well just. Learn it. Let's look at this chart. Okay, I have to trade lower. 
And this is what I saw this morning, so that's why we did it. <clears throat> this is really lower. I tell you, for those of you that have not done the trends class, I, I think what I'm going to do is just move the whole class to September. That's the right thing to do because, because we did the one part and then I got sick. But, you know, for those of you that have not taken the trends class yet, you, do, you don't need that to day trade, but I, I would tell you without a shadow of a doubt that there are days when I am looking at stuff and it knowing that information that I teach in the trends class about corrective gaps or continuation gaps, like, that some days makes a difference whether I do something or not or whether I actually pick one over the other. Like you rate the gap and you do it. But I'm telling you that trends, knowing trends actually helps you become a better day trader. That's one of the reasons I've called the market so well. It's one of the reasons I'm really good at calling the market. So it just gives you that extra information to be a better day trader. You don't need to know it to do the gap and you're trading these intraday and you short stuff that's, you know, bullish in the big picture and we short stuff that's bearish in the big picture and we short stuff that's neutral in the big picture but i'm telling you that some days like i see something and i know it's the one and it's because of that class because of what i know about the corrective gaps and the continuation gaps as far as i'm concerned anything that i can figure out in the market to make me trade better is worthwhile i haven't figured out anything new for a long time yet though I'm sure there's other stuff I can still figure out, but I'm been, well, you know, this year I've actually been figuring stuff out more with the entries, which has helped us stay in the trains as far as the, as far as the stop placement. I think that's the one thing I figured I have. I don't know what I see yet. I, I definitely have made an improvement this year with keeping us in trains and I'm just doing it. I'm just seeing it live, but I haven't figured out what I'm seeing there to even know it. So we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing if you're in here with me live but there is something there that i've seen this year and I don't, I don't know what it is yet i really don't know what it is where sometimes i say put a stop here and i end up being right and i don't really know what it, why i say that but there's definitely that's what i've improved upon this year but i don't know what i really see but other than that as far as the gaps go i mean i haven't figured out anything new this year but if i do it's fine with me because I really don't like to ever lose. You don't think Cisco had the earnings power to get to 30, in your humble opinion. Let's look at it. You don't think Cisco had the earnings power to get to 30, in your humble opinion, probably know where you're going to you're going to sell it at 29, you have it as a core long, you have it as a core long. You're going to you're going to sell it. Well, let's go over this. The next class is this weekend, Victor. Let's go over this for R squared. He's core long Cisco and he wants to kill it. No, don't. If you're already in it. Now, I wouldn't be in this long as a core, but I will tell you the same thing that I said before. Market, 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 market like the Brady Bunch, Marsha, 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 Marsha. The market's higher. I wouldn't think core long Cisco, but if you are, I wouldn't kill it because of the market, because you're going to get a new high in the market. And when you get that, you will get Cisco going, going. So if you are core long this, which I wouldn't be, but if you are and you liked it and you're up in it and you are in it already, I wouldn't kill it because of the fact that the market is going to make another new high. So you may as well hold market stocks or strong stocks. If you're ready in them long, this is not um, what I would consider a good long, long term. But if you are already in it, it's too late. You could get out of it with a profit. But honestly, if you have it hedged, then hold it with the market because you will. We will get the market to make another new high. He has actual stock that he owns overnight, Journey Woman. You're not killing it. Oh, okay. All right. You liked Marsha? Who knows? She was only 5'3. <laughs> was she only 5'3? <laughs> There's something else I was going to talk about. Oh, 
the market rally yesterday. Hold on, let's look at the market rally. And then we'll let everybody go. <clears throat> She looked like a leggy blonde in the show. Yeah, I thought she was really tall. Um, okay, let's look at the spy. Beautiful chart. Beautiful chart and a beautiful bounce yesterday. Not another reason for the bounce or if it just got bought. Either way, amazing recovery for the market yesterday. Can't expect much today. Holding support even though we're red. I've said every day I've lectured about this. I don't remember the day I did the lecture. It might have been yesterday, it might have been the day before, whenever I did it and I talked. It was one of the days we got down. It was either yesterday or the day before, I don't remember now. But one of the days I said, we are strong. Don't expect us to go anywhere. We're not gonna go anywhere down. We're still in an uptrend, we're still strong. We're still gonna make a new high, I reiterate. And then you get a day like yesterday and you say, oh, and that's what I said. I think it was yesterday, because I said, Every time you think the money isn't there, it is. And I'm telling you the money's there. Poop, there it is, right there. I mean, I just said this yesterday. It was yesterday, I think. I said, you think the money's not there and it's there. It was almost like I was telling you it was gonna happen yesterday. Was it yesterday I said that and then we did this? Hold on, let me look. I think it was yesterday because the market really got down. It was. What was yesterday, the 12th? I gave a lecture. I gave a lecture yesterday and I talked about the market. I remember I did it. And I said that even though you think the money isn't there, it is. And look how it came in. It came out of nowhere yesterday. It came in out of no man's land yesterday because we had broke, gapped down, fell all morning, fell hard, fell into an area, had broken the 200 period moving average on the daily chart, looked weak, gapped down for two days. I don't remember what the reason was for any of things of the gap, if the reason was any, or if it just gapped down, or China, or who knows. And the low of the day here was 10.15. It wasn't even 10. And the market got bought out of no man's land and got bought huge. Who would have bought that? You would have never known as a trader to buy that in there and you wouldn't have never got it as a long, but you shouldn't have been short, okay? But institutional money came into that gap and it wasn't a good gap to short. And I didn't call the market short and you shouldn't have shorted it. It was a long, but you don't, don't buy down gaps, but the market is a long. So you could buy the market, but again, the place to buy is not a down gap. Anyways, the point is that it got bought. And it got bought out of nowhere. And what I had said in the lecture yesterday was every time you think money isn't there, it is. How do I know? Because of the gaps. And yesterday is a perfect example. I can't believe I gave that lecture yesterday and then market, that's exactly what happened. The money came in just like as I predicted it would. And it's going to happen again. And it's going to happen again. And it's going to happen again. And the market's going to make a new high because the money's still there. And that's what I said. I said, you think the money is not there. It is because this is not institutional selling. And this is institutional buying because of the way that it transpired, okay? Because the gap down was not bearish. To, it, wasn't, it wasn't bearish enough. It wasn't institutional selling. But that way that that got bought was buying money. Do you understand? It's the same way when I called this. That was a great call. Now, the gap wasn't that good. But I saw the buying right when I called it live. So I called it and it worked. I have such a great eye for reading money. And that's how I knew that it was going to 55. I don't know why I didn't hold this whole thing to 55. It doesn't matter. It's just falling off the planet now. This could go to $50 today. And I'm not saying for sure, but anyways, getting back to this. I just really know how to read money. And when I see it move live, it's really easy for me to read it. And that, that's why you people are here. That's why you want to trade with me. And this is why I have the confidence to go on national television and say these things. Because man, is it really going to take guts. And we talked about that the other day too. But I told you, and look at this, and this is proof positive in here. You, every time you think it, every time you think it, you think it's gone, it's not. And this is how people get upset. People get upset, they wanna get upset with the market. Don't get upset about the market. The market's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. The market is perfect. This is perfect. This cannot get any more perfect than it is. It is perfect. Perfect. Perfect means perfect. It means it's doing everything right. It's just taking a little bit longer here. Again, timing. But the spy will make a new high. The cues will make a new high. The cues will make an all-time high over 120 and explain the resistance in the market the other week. This is perfect. People want to get mad and upset when they lose money in the market. You know what? They don't know how to trade. So get, be upset with yourself. Don't be upset with the market. The market is perfect. And the stocks are perfect too. And KSS did exactly what I knew it would do today and went to 55. And now it's falling off the planet. 
But, you know, there's nothing wrong with the stocks or the market. It's that people don't know how to trade. So they can get all upset and blame everyone in the world, but everything is doing what it's actually supposed to be doing. Am I talking about Cisco long term at $30 today? No, I was saying if you're in Cisco, I'm saying two things. One, I would not be long Cisco long term. But if you are, look, this is working. I'm telling you, $29.75, $30 today if you're long Cisco. This is, I, listen, R squared. When do I call a bullish gap? Like twice a year. Do you think that I would actually not call this today if I really didn't think it was going to work as long? Like I never call longs. I'm really shocked that you're not in it. And it's going to make a new high right in here. So I'm a little surprised. I said $30 today. Dream target. There's a chance it could get there, but you're in it all day. Core target. I have no core target on this because I don't think it's really a core long. But I'm saying if you are already in it long overnight, at least hold this sucker because of the market, because this is a market stock. I would not say that about JCPenney. <clears throat> JCPenney is not a good buy and it's also not a market stock. But I'm saying, Cisco, if you're long, you may as well just wait till the market makes a new high and try to make some money in it. But I can't really give you targets on this because there's really no targets because you really shouldn't be in a long. I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, James. Um, all right, let me just do the other questions here. Uh, Raphael, if you want a referral for a broker, email me. You, you, you can use my platform or you can use a different one. It's up to you. If you email me, I'll send you that information. But you can use whoever you want. You have to be able to short stocks as an equity stock. And some of you in here that couldn't get KSS or whoever said that, that's Omylanta because no one should have not been able to get this. This wasn't even down. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even down more than 10%. No one should have not been able to get this. No one. like shameful if a broker didn't have this today like they shouldn't even have accounts mm. all right let's just look one more time at jc penny and should we ask the magic eight ball or is it going to jinx us here quickly let's take a vote should we ask the magic eight ball about jc penny or do you think it'll jinx us health or hurt <laughs> galahad said no journey woman said no seattle trader said hurt surf dog's the only one said yes and since we do the opposite of whatever surf dog said then the answer is no George, you do the opposite. If Surf Dog says that we should not, if, if Surf Dog says we should ask the Magic Eight Ball and everyone else says no, then the answer is clear. Perfect. We can't ask. <laughs> Magic Eighty Eight is saying yes too. Magic Eighty Eight, I can't, I can't ask you because you are the Magic Eighty Eight Ball. All right, let's just look at the chart. We want to ask the Magic Eight Ball. <laughs> That's why you have to say yes, because you are the magic eight ball. Oh, very good. Excellent participation today. I'm so glad everyone talked. You're getting ready to be on TV. I can see it now. Very good participation today. Uh, let me just see here with this. This was the last time, was this the last earnings? I think it was, yeah, it was back in February. No, there was another earnings day, I forget. Anyways, I remember this one here that was just a pickle. Is this tonight or tomorrow morning? Let me just look. I really, 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 really five really um would love to do jc penny tomorrow and i actually do believe no it's tomorrow morning we have to wait nope it's tomorrow morning anyways i i i my instinct i don't know if this gaps up or down but my instinct is that if this does gap down we actually get it in our favor whereas the one time it did not situate itself like 
I'm not saying this is gapping up or down either way. I do not know. I'm not even going to make that claim today. I don't, I don't have a gut instinct or feeling on this, what it's going to do, because it could gap up. It's not going to gap up as a corrective gap, though. That would be impossible. But anyways, if it gaps down, my instinct is telling me that it works in our favor and ends up being really clean for us, which is exactly the kind of trade that I would love to have tomorrow. I don't know, though, if it's going to gap down. So in other words, this was a crappy one here, and it was crapola. But I'm saying that in reference to tomorrow, in the morning, be up early, because this doesn't happen at night. I really have an instinct that this will actually be favorable then, meaning clean, whereas this was crappy. Wheezy said, great call, unless you're the best. Positive affirmation is super. Yes. And Wheezy... I really thought that you trusted me a lot. I'm surprised that you're saying you got out of this too early or didn't take enough size because I thought that you were really, really like 100% conviction. I know you want to redo the class, and that's good. That'll help you. Uh, Raphael says, Melissa, can you give me your opinion on trading futures since day trading stocks requires 25000 only if you have a retail account or you can open up a prop account, Raphael, and you can open up a prop account with $2,000. A retail account requires 25. A proprietary day trading account, you can open one up with two grand. Just curious what my take is. A lot of people trade futures since the day trading pattern rules don't apply. Raphael is asking a great question. I think someone else asked that in the webinar the other night. Unless it was you asking that same question again, I don't remember. But the bottom line is you can't just train something if it's not that good to train just because it's cheap. It wasn't you, then that was two people that asked me. And I really need to, I have to write this down. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get everything done. It's just never gonna happen. I don't even know why I'm writing things down anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna write this down because I'm never gonna get it done. <laughs> Do you know that I upgraded my iPhone and bought it a month ago? I have to go to the Verizon store to actually change up my phone. I haven't done it yet. It's ridiculous. Hold on. I'm never going to get everything done. It's never going to happen. Anyways, the point is that, um, and this is why I said the webinar, and then I really do have to go. <clears throat> yeah, I, you don't, you, you don't make money in the market, okay? Journey woman, I hope you killed this with profit. You don't make money in the market or anything necessarily by getting stuff on the cheap. You got it. It's all about negotiation. You're like negotiating with yourself. You're like, okay, well, I'm going to give this much to it and I'm going to get this much out of it. And you can't just, you can't say, well, I'm going to just watch all Melissa's videos and then I'm going to figure it out myself for, you know, whatever. It doesn't work like that. People think that they can. They never will. The reality is that you have to decide that you are committed to doing something and do it. Is it cheaper to train maybe futures? Do you get more leverage if you trade Forex? Yes, you do. Like some of those Forex places are giving like a bazillion to one. You can put up $1,000, but you can also lose 100,000 in a day. I mean, it's crazy. You, you don't make money and become successful by trying to do it on the cheap. I'm not saying you have to buy $3,000 shoes every day, but I am saying that if you want to do well, you have to come to terms with yourself that it's going to be a give and take with yourself. What does that mean? You may have to make some sacrifices. Not go on a vacation and spend $5,000 and decide to trade this year. There is an example, okay? Not buy the shoes and take the class or whatever. It's, it's like there is give and take in everything in life. Like, you know that I didn't get to the point that I figured this stuff out without give and take. The problem what I did and which is why I have such a good story is that I was so far off the edge of the cliff that I really I don't think many people could have done what I was what I did because I was like I there was no give and take with me. Literally I had I was risking it all. So, you know, what the thing is that many people can't do that and it was crazy. It was crazy, but I did do that. Don't let yourself get to that point. That's the lesson to be learned from what I did to myself, okay? Don't let yourself get to that point. Don't let your life get so much where you're pushed up against the wall 
that, that you don't change until you're pushed up against the wall. Make the sacrifice while things are still okay and your life is normal to, to make some changes or make some more money or do something. When you allow yourself to get up against the wall, it is very hard to make it through the door. And I knew that the mortgage industry was changing. I really should have quit and found a different job way before everything fell apart. I should have left New York before I did so I could have had saved more money. I mean, there were so many things when I look back, okay? I had literally had myself up against the wall. And then I had no way out of my situation but to learn how to trade the market. That's how much it was. You know, most people can't do that. Don't let your life get so bad. Make the sacrifices now because they're really not that bad. They're really not that bad. Whatever the sacrifices are that you have to make to make the changes in your life, are, you're, you're probably making it out in your head that it's worse than it is. Like people say, well, I spent $2,000 or $5,000 on a class or I lost this much money in the market. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do that. And then they're watching my videos for two years or three years or one year. In fact, Lewis, is Lewis in here today? Lewis has been following me for a year and emailed me when the price of the class was like a lot less and sent me an email that he had saved from November of 2014. It's almost a year ago. I'm like, Lewis, you know, you know, he could have been making money with me for a year. It's don't wait until your life gets so bad that you don't make changes in it. And this goes for not just the trading stuff. This is about personal stuff too. I mean, I am amazed when I see the people are in bad marriages and they, they don't want to get divorced. And they can make excuses all day long that they're staying in the marriage for the kids or they're doing this for that or whatever, they're staying in the relationship or whatever the case may be. You know, it's like people don't want to change. Don't wait till it gets so bad that you have to change and then the change is like almost makes it where it's impossible for you and it's so bad then and then everything goes to pot or almost goes to pot because it could go to pot. When you're up against the wall, it's hard to recover. People just don't want to make the everyday sacrifices and they're really not that big of a deal because it's really not that big of a deal. It's just you have to compromise with yourself. You can't get it on the cheap. Don't trade futures because it's cheap. Trade futures because you have 100% conviction in futures and you love futures and you want to trade futures. Why do I day trade? Why don't I do the options? I mean, Surf Dog's been trying to talk me into doing options for like a year, maybe more. I'm just not going to do it. Why? I love this. I, I love this. I just, I don't want to do anything else but this. I just love this. This is, I want to just do this. I love it. Okay, do something because you love it, not because it's cheap. Marry someone because you love them, not because they're going to support you. I passed that bridge a long time ago anyways. Time seems to be flying in general in all age groups. Not enough hours in the day to get things done either. It's so true. And we have to enjoy ourselves a little bit. I mean, we, I, am, I am enjoying myself more this year, even though I'm working hard with this other thing. But, you know, some of it's fun and some of it's work. But I am trying to enjoy myself more this year. But we do have to make time. For, again, that's a compromise. That's a compromise. That's a sacrifice. I say to myself, you know what? I, I know that I need to have a life. Time is running on. Here I am. My birthday's in a month. <laughs> I'm going to be another year. It's like, what? Really? I can't even believe it. I don't even, it's like, what? You know, like, I have to, like, have a life. And it's a compromise. Surf Dog is still talking about the eighth grade moving average. You are hilarious. G Bank says it's too late. Too late for what? To not go off the deep end? What do I want for my birthday? Renee Cavella shoes. Six, size six and a half. <laughs> picture of the shoe at that time I had only owned one pair that was like six years ago or maybe five it was during the Olympics whenever the Olympics was it was the oh it was when the Olympics were in London when were the Olympics in London then it wasn't six years ago Galahad when were the London Olympics because I that was they had a shoe Renee Cavell had an Olympic shoe and I, and I and I couldn't afford to buy it at the time I just couldn't I was I couldn't justify spending three thousand dollars on shoes at that time Your understanding is that futures were designed for traders if it offers leverage. But you get leverage with retail accounts. You get leverage with proprietary day trading accounts. How much leverage do you want? If the trade doesn't work, you're going to lose. If you have a little bit of money or a lot of money, if the trade doesn't work, you're going to lose. Don't trade something just because of that. If, if, you, if you're going to lose if it doesn't work. If you trade a system that doesn't work, you're going to lose money. If you have $1,000 and 
and you train a system that does not work, even if they give you 100 times the leverage, you still will lose the $1,000 if it doesn't work. It has nothing to do with the leverage. Although if you have a small account and you want to day trade, a proprietary day trading account allows you to day trade with self-control using hard stops where your limit is risked and fixed and you put the stop in. If you have a small account, you shouldn't be trading anything where you don't have a stop at all, no matter what you do, which isn't an overnight because your risk is unlimited. Now with options, it's fixed. But again, you have to do stuff though that you love to do. The mic went silent. Hold on. There, I have it back. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Raphael had a problem with the mic. Since you've been with me, you're up 31 out of 45 trades. Frequent flyer, are you coming next week or not? That's a testimonial. Would have never been able to pull off the winning percent because he was new to trading. You're so lucky to have me as your mentor. Thank you. Are you coming next week? And are you going to wear a pilot outfit if you do? <laughs> Actually, is Boots in here? Or did he sign out already? I think Boots already signed out. There's various kinds out there, Raphael. I mean, I can refer you to some places to check into both. Or you can actually investigate it online yourself. 2012 was the London Olympics. Oh, that wasn't that long ago. Well, yeah, it was five years. Anyways, I remember they made an Olympic shoe. You mentioned, okay, when you put the stop, when you put the stop, you cannot put target price in Sterling platform. Yes, you can. What do you mean target price? You mean to get out? You mean a uh, cancel all order? I don't know what you mean by target price. I can put in a stop exactly at the number. No, you're right. They don't have that. But who cares? What does that have to do with anything? What does it matter? I don't know why that's a big deal. I take my stop out usually before I, I when I know I'm getting ready to get out. I will just press the X to put it out. I don't lose any time. The time situation is in the entry. Listen, and then I'm going to really have to go. The situation is the entry. That is where the timing is so critical for me. There's not as much criticalness of me for the exit, okay? And that you should learn from me as well. Perfect price entry is critical. Whether you got out here, whether you got out here, whether you got out here or here or here or here or here, it doesn't matter. The trade worked and you made money. If you got out here, I didn't tell you to, and you killed it because you were scared. This is critical. And do you see how critical this is? Because the length of the bar here is a dollar. The entry is the critical in the timing. And I don't have any issues with that in my platform at all. And I want to get filled with a stop. And I don't care they don't have the cancel all button. I've never used that. So it doesn't matter to me. And I didn't use it on when I traded on the other platform. And it even had it and I didn't use it. I only use like the bare minimums. Anyways, getting back to this. This is the critical piece. This is not as critical. Here, if you don't get it, when I call it, and you size yourself for 50 cents and you end up risking a dollar, that's critical. You're screwed. You see, this is not so critical. You're up. Whether you get out here, 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 you're up. This is critical. You're risking then double what you thought. If you get filled later, you miss it or you don't get it. This is a critical piece. Tom knows that from training with me for a long, 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 long time. And Tom gives me a lot of credit for that. I've always made this very critical. This is really important. You can make tea with sterling. You lost me on that one. If you want a trailing stop, I don't even know if they have it or not. If they do, I've never used it. But again, I don't trade like that either because you can't move the stop. 
if you had a trailing stop here, you would have gotten out in here. And why even do that then? Just take it out of the target of 56. Otherwise, you're getting out 30 cents back. There's no reason to even do the trailing stop. A trailing stop is if something's just falling like an angel. And I trade in the morning too quick, and these things usually don't fall like angels. They'll just go hard and fast. you got to get out before the bounce. Like, a trailing stop only is fine if you're trading later in the day and something's falling you want to be, like, in it as long as you can. It's just falling. Like, these things happen fast. This is really why I got out here, because I was like, ugh, that was a big bar. It was almost a buck. I saw the money was up, and I didn't want it to go against me and bounce. And when I saw the stick tail starting to lift, Anyways, that trailing stops are good if you're in nice, beautiful, quiet activities, which I don't trade things that are like that. So you may as well just get out at 56 then. The trailing stop doesn't help you here. Or you take this, you don't need the trailing stop, you get out at the target. Look here, if you had a trailing stop, you would have given back 70 cents. You just get out at 55. You get out at the number. You get out when I say to get out. Trailing stops don't help you with this type of trading. It's too quick in movement and it goes too fast. Um, what was the other thing? Limit. Limit orders. Beggar Paz says he wish he could be there in New York, but he can't do the responsibilities he has here. You know he'll be able to make a trip sooner than later and have the great honor to meet you in person. Oh, thank you. You know how much I appreciate having you in my life? Yes, I do, and thank you, Jaguar Paw. I know next week is going to be amazing. You will do outstanding as always. Thank you. Well, you're going to be here, and I hope Trader Gal can come too. You'd show up as Jack Sparrow? <laughs> I, I thought you were going to show up as a surfer dude. Um, frequent flyer, are you coming or not? Trader gal, who's six and a half foot? Oh, six and a half shoes. I was going to say I'm not six and a half feet high or tall. No, I have six and a half feet. I do have small feet. You're a nine. What's average for a woman? It's probably like a seven. Uh, what about a billion R squared? One day you'll make it here, you will. Maybe it'll be for the launch party. I'm like five three, five three and a half, five four on a good day. <laughs> I stretch, depending on if I, how high my hair is. I'm five four with my hair. Let's put it that way. Um, five, ten is average height for men. Really? We were talking about shoe sizes, though, too. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, Raphael was asking about the leverage. And the whole point I was trying to make is don't do something because it's cheap. Don't take a class because it's cheap. Don't buy shoes because they're cheap. Don't trade the market doing Forex or futures because it's cheap. Do something because you like it. Buy the shoes because you look good in them. I had a lady yesterday. I bought a pair of shoes yesterday. And a lady sitting next to me. I don't know how old the lady was. I'm terrible with that. She sat next to me and she was trying on shoes. They were the most boring shoes in the world. And we were at, at Bergdorf Goodman where it's hard to believe there's a boring shoe, but there were boring shoes. And she was trying on a boring shoe. And she said... And I was trying on my shoes, and I got them. They were 50% off. Anyways, she said, oh, I love your taste in shoes. And I'm thinking to myself, you could have bought these shoes. You could buy these shoes right now. Why are you, why are you buying those ugly shoes? I did not say that to the lady. <laughs> I felt like saying it. I could have said it in a nice way. She was a nice lady. But I thought to myself, I said, thank you. I do have good taste in shoes. And that's what I said. But I wanted to say to her, why are you buying the ugly shoes? Why? You know? Probably because she was rationalizing that they were cheaper. But they were ugly. And she would look hotter in the hot shoes for a little bit more money. You definitely get what you pay for. Yeah. So just like, you know, Journey Woman took 500 shares with $350 today and made over $1,000 in KSS. So KSS... Again, back to the cheapness, if you needed to short this and you had an account, whatever, you, the stock, cost 57 whatever of the price to short it, wherever you got it today, okay? 
if we had wanted to do something El Cheapo, okay, we could have done, you know, let's look at Groupon, a $4 stock today. Let's see if this even did anything today. Could we have even shorted this today? Probably not, but let's just look. No, if you did anything with this today, you didn't make any money at all. So we wanted to do something cheap. We could have looked, for, looked at Groupon or any other cheap stock, but they didn't have any good gaps. The good gap today was a stock that cost $57 and some cents to short it. And if you didn't do that, you didn't make any money. Okay? This is People want to trade penny stocks because they're cheap. It's the same way with the penny stocks. You don't get momentum. And you risk too much money for not enough movement because you still have to take size in those things to make any money and they still can go against you. You have to be able to do something that A, makes sense for you financially, where you may have to make some sacrifices to make it happen for yourself before you get up against the wall. And B, you also have to do something because you love it. And I love trading stocks. And I love just flat out freaking shorten them, you know? I just don't want to do anything else. But the reality is, though, that I love it. If you don't love trading futures, why do it? Now, if you love futures, do it. But don't do it because it's cheap. If, if that lady loved the shoes, then I don't know why she was in love with my shoes. Because she was in love with my shoes. But she bought another pair of shoes. Why? Because they were cheaper. Like, way cheaper. But it's like, you know, make a sacrifice then. Or save for the shoes. That was another hard lesson I had to learn, too. RMTI surf dog. <laughs> well, this isn't dirt cheap. This is cheaper than the one we did today. I wouldn't say this is a dirt cheap. Have to be careful with hot shoes. Sometimes they look trampy. There is no shoe that I own that looks trampy. You're talking about, like, porno girl shoes. I, I don't wear shoes like that. I do not have like those pumped up shoes. They're they're beautiful heels. You're talking about like those platform shoes. I don't I don't have any of those. Like I have a platform sandal sandal like I'll walk to the beach in or something. I don't have any trampy shoes. All of my shoes would be approved by you. The elegant shoes were the Olympic shoes. Yes. Journey woman, did you get out of that second trade with money? Trader gal needs to know. Groupon is not a mover. Porno shoes are those platform shoes. The ones like, like strippers wear in strip clubs. Stripper shoes. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks, Wheezy. Have a good day. Frequent flyer said 99% yes. You have to take the train in from Princeton. So we're heading to Philly with the son from college there. He's visiting and staying with mom before he heads off. Okay. Wonderful. G. Phage realizes, if you listened to me since you started, your knowledge would have served as a, as a, as a, as a, do you mean a scalper? As a scalper, you meant, because you're against the wall. I think that's what you meant to write, scalper. Okay, well, it's not too late. Or anyone that got stopped on in KSS a second entry reduced the profit by $23. You'll live. That's okay. The 2% loss is not that bad for having the possibility of significantly greater profit. You're funny. Well, I'm glad you were tight with the stop. How many trades do I normally take a week? Five. One a day. And sometimes on a Monday I don't trade. And sometimes on one day I'll do two. So it's probably a five. Five minimum. I don't, I don't think I would ever even say that I've even have been taking 10. I mean, there's some days I do two things, or if one doesn't work and I do another one, or I do two things and one thing. But somewhere between five and eight, probably. Surf Dog says, <laughs> this is the last thing, I, I have to go. We all have porn star names. It's the name of your first dog and the name of the first street you lived on. You people are, are bad. You're back in KSS fun shares, a thousand. 
You're like fun shares, 10,000. Could this break the low of the day again? Yes. Do I think it does it right now at 11 o'clock? No. There's my explanation. Cisco's a piece of junk. I told you, if you're in this, you are in it all day. It's not doing anything wrong. It's even holding on the 15 minute. If you're in it, you're in it all day. Who, who wants to really do that? Nobody, probably. But I'm just telling you. All right, so we didn't consult the Magic 8-Ball Oracle from J.C. Penny. We'll have to see what happens. I'm probably not going to watch anything tonight, and I have a lot of things to do. I'll see you back in here tomorrow morning. We'll see what we get. I don't know. I'd like to get a good one tomorrow. Great job, everyone that did the KSS today. I would be done with it, personally. <clears throat> okay. R squared, I can't believe you asked me what porn shoes are. <sighs> Ask your son, he'll know. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Have a good day, everyone. G-Bage, start scalping. All right, have a good day.